Hello and welcome to another episode of Space Mysteries, where we explore the unknown and the unexplained in the vast cosmos. Today, we are going to talk about one of the most intriguing and controversial conspiracy theories in the history of space exploration, the dead cosmonaut. The dead cosmonaut theory claims that the Soviet Union, during the Cold War, secretly launched several human spaceflights before Yuri Gagarin's first official orbit around the Earth on April 12, 1961. According to this theory, some of these cosmonauts died in space or on re-entry, and their existence and fate were covered up by the Soviet authorities to avoid embarrassment and humiliation. But is there any evidence to support this theory? And if so, who were these lost cosmonauts and what happened to them? Let's find out. The first source of this theory comes from a pair of Italian brothers, Achille and Giovanni Giudica Cordiglia, who were amateur radio operators and enthusiasts. They claimed that they intercepted several transmissions from Soviet spacecraft between 1960 and 1964, some of which contained distress signals, heartbeats, or breathing sounds from dying or dead cosmonauts. They also recorded some of these transmissions and released them to the public. One of the most famous recordings is from May 19, 1961, just a month after Gagarin's flight. It allegedly contains the voice of a female cosmonaut who says, I feel hot. I can see a flame. Am I going to crash? Yes. I will re-enter, before losing contact. The brothers claimed that this was the first woman in space, who burned up on re-entry due to a malfunction in her spacecraft. Another recording is from November 28, 1960. It supposedly contains the voice of a male cosmonaut who says, The Earth is getting smaller and smaller. How beautiful it is. The sky is black. I'm going faster than sound. I'm hot. I can't breathe, before going silent. The brothers claimed that this was the first man in space, who reached too high an altitude and suffocated. The brothers also claimed that they intercepted transmissions from other cosmonauts who either died in orbit or landed off course and were captured by foreign governments. They even gave names to some of these cosmonauts, such as Alexei Ledovsky, Serenty Shiborin, Andrei Mitkov, and Maria Gromova. However, there are many problems with the brothers' claims. First of all, their recordings have never been independently verified or authenticated by any experts or authorities. Second, their recordings are often inconsistent with the known facts and timelines of Soviet space program. For example, the female voice they recorded in May 1961 could not have been the first woman in space, because the Soviet Union did not launch any manned missions between Gagarin's flight in April 1961 and German Titov's flight in August 1961. Third, their recordings are often vague and ambiguous, and could have been misinterpreted or fabricated by the brothers themselves. Fourth, their recordings could have been easily faked or tampered with using simple editing techniques or sound effects. Therefore, most historians and experts dismiss the brothers' recordings as hoaxes or misunderstandings. They argue that there is no credible evidence that the Soviet Union launched any secret human spaceflights before Gagarin's flight. They also point out that the Soviet Union had no reason to hide or deny any failed or successful spaceflights, because they were proud of their achievements and eager to show off their superiority over the United States. Thanks for watching.